Hi, this is Jessica Mays at Mays Consulting Group, and I wanted to create a video to show you how you can create a, an appointment um, in, in a context record in Infusionsoft within Campaign Builder. So I'm going to start from scratch. That way you can go ahead and log into your Infusionsoft app, and uh, if you're able to multitask in this way, you certainly could listen to this and build while I talk. So I don't have anything prepared, so this could take a few minutes. But anyways, um, it's really easy to do once you know how to do it. So I'm logged into one of my applications right now, and what I want to start out by doing is building the, uh, the shell in Campaign Builder. So go into Campaign Builder. We're going to go ahead and uh, start a new campaign or work on a campaign that's already in place that you would like to do this. So what this requires at a minimum is an internal web form. So I grabbed a goal and I configured it as an internal web form. And so we'll say, let's pretend this is our initial consultation. A okay. couple of things you need to put on here. At a minimum, you've got to have a custom field for the date and time of the appointment. So if you don't have that yet, you would go ahead and create a custom field. You would name it date and time of appointment. And it would need to be the date time type. You would go ahead and save that. I'm actually going to use the one that I already have in here. So I'm going to pull it in, and I've got date and time of appointment. I would make it required because it's the point of this entire form, and so you want to make sure that whoever fills this out on your team catches that very important information. Okay, and then the second thing that you have to have is a date field of the, the date of the appointment. Now I realize you're already putting that information into your date time field, but you'll see in just a moment um, why we're doing this. So um, if you don't have that field created yet, go ahead again, create a custom field, name it. This is my little tip. I would say confirm initial consult date. Because if you have team members doing this, and they're going to probably, it would be the natural question to say, why are we doing this twice? And so if you state confirm, that's kind of a normal you know, thing like, you know, state your password, confirm your password type of a thing. Now, this is very important. This needs to be a date field. Okay, so you'd go ahead and create that custom field. Again, I already have it in here, so rather than create another one, I'm going to use the one I have. And I'm going to do what I suggest you do, label it with the word confirm in there. Okay, so you can put other bells and whistles on this form if you wish, but at a minimum, you've got to, um, uh, you've got to have the date and time of the appointment and the date of the appointment. This has to be a date slash time field. This has to be a date field. Okay, got that piece set up. Okay, the other piece of the puzzle is a sequence. We would say uh, create appointment, uh, confirm, and remind emails. Now, what I do, if you haven't worked with me, you know that I'm um, constantly recommending you label your stuff so that it... Uh, First of all, if you were to come in here and take a peek at the strategy from out here, you would know roughly what's going on. Additionally, when, when I we kind of put this into action, when we test this at the end of the video, you will be grabbing this form from a drop-down menu based on these words right here. So to be able to find the right form, you need to have it labeled clearly in here, in Campaign Builder. Uh, same with out here. There might come a time where you decide you want to clone one of your sequences. It's a lot easier to clone the correct sequence if you have them labeled pretty clearly. All right, so as I alluded to right here, this is going to 
have the, the tools to create the appointment, send a confirmation email, send a reminder email. Okay, so first thing we need to do is create the appointment. We're going to be doing that using an action set. So you go into the process area, you go all the way to the bottom, and we have this little image, um, like a movie set action thing. So we pull that up. And then the other things we're doing is we're going to confirm the email, I'm sorry, confirm the appointment. And we're going to remind somebody to come to the appointment probably the day before. Send your confirmations whenever, I'm sorry, your reminders whenever you want. And I'm just going to quick clone that to save me a little time. Okay. You can put other stuff in here if you want. You could put a tag in if you want to tag the record. You could put a task in if you want to push a task out to somebody. You put more reminder timers in, emails and stuff. But this is the basics. This will create the, point, the appointment in the contacts record. This will push out a, a confirmation email to the contact. This will remind them of that appointment. Now, um, as far as sending out the, uh, the emails to the, the contact, one little tip is you're going to say whatever you want. You know, thank you so much. I look forward to our appointment. Here are the details. What you're going to want to merge in is the merge field for the date and the time. So now it'll say, you know, uh, you know, on April 20th, 4 p.m., and, and then you can, you know, work the rest of it, you know, however you want it to, to be worded. But that's a great way to be able to send the same email out to every single person you create an appointment for, but it merges in the appropriate information. And this is all tied to that form that we configured with those custom fields. All right, so action set. This is our next step. We have to go create this action set somewhere else in Infusionsoft, and then we'll come back in and finish this piece off. So let's hop out of here. I like publishing. All right, out we go. All righty, so what we're going to do is create an action set. An action set is in the CRM settings area. And then over on the left, you've got this word, these words, action sets. Click. I probably already have one created because I've, I've created this on other occasions. But I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch. Add an action set. All right. Date, uh, initial consultation, uh, date, uh, appointment. Test. So I remember I did this on a in a test environment. Alrighty, here's what we need to do. From this drop-down menu for actions, we have create an appointment. Click on that. And then we have to get this, you know, configure what we're doing here. We're going to go ahead and add. Okay, so we're going to say initial consult appointment. Okay, action type. It's a call in my scenario. Initial consult schedule. Okay, who are we assigning it to? Um, you're assigning it to the contacts owner, yes or no, um, and then you're picking a backup. I like to. Um, I like to go with the backup, just that's how I do it. But you can do it however you need to get it to the right person. Okay, so which date? Well, we find the date and time of appointment test. I'm sorry, yours probably doesn't say test. But you made that date slash time field in your form. Here it is. It's very important that you grab the date time. I'll show you why. Down here. Schedule this appointment, uh, the next occurrence, and this is key. 
use the time in the custom field. See, if you don't use a date time field, you don't get, it just will put whatever, you have to hard code a time. So when I was first building this, I actually did a how-to video about this some, one other time. And I, I configured the demo on just a date field. And then I was getting feedback, everybody's appointments were going on at midnight. Okay, so uh, then I realized I'd pull that video down and create a new one. So uh, anyways, when we use the date time field, it gives us the time that we've put on our form, which is exactly what we need, right? Okay, here's one other trick. If you decide to notify somebody, they get an email um, letting them know they have the appointment. Now, when I say somebody, it's users in Infusionsoft. So this doesn't push out to the contact. That's why we're creating those emails in Campaign Builder. This would pull out, push out to the person who's a user in Infusionsoft who has this appointment. And something that's cool about that email is there is a little calendar um, icon in the subject line. Um, it works for Outlook and it works for Google Calendar. I've, those are the only two environments I've tested it on. But when you click on that, you can put it on your calendar, which is a nice little feature. Okay, so we're going to set that and save. And save again. All right, cool. That's all set. Save again. And now we can go finish up what we've been doing. Back into Campaign Builder. Open up the campaign. Open up the action set. Find your action set on the drop down. This is the one I was just working on. Okay, so that's everything you need. I'm going to go back over this one more time, and then we're going to go out and test it. All right, so we've got our internal web form that is gathering whatever information we want to gather, but at a minimum, it has two custom fields on it, a date and time field and a date field. We have a sequence that has whatever we want it to have, but at a minimum, it has this action set. We created the action set out in CRM settings. And it runs the action of setting up the appointment. So the appointment gets set up on the contacts in, in the contacts record, which means it goes on the, the user associated with its uh, calendar inside Infusionsoft, and then a notification email pushes out to that user, letting them know they have the appointment. All right, let's test. I just want to make sure I have all, everything published in that campaign. I can't remember. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to test with this record right here. I like using the shortcut for uh, internal web forms. It's right here. I'm going to fill out the form. Save it. All right, let's give it a minute to kind of do its thing. So I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me pointing at the screen. Anyways, I've now come into that contact record. And first of all, here's the web form we just submitted. So there's a history of that. If you just click right here. But it did what it was supposed to do. 
it created an appointment on this contacts record. It also, oh, <laughs> I'm chuckling because um, it tried to send the email out, but it's letting me know I've reached my monthly limit. It's because I'm in a sandbox application right now. So the system did um, attempt to send out the uh, confirmation email to the contact. And uh, everything's good to go. So that is how you set up, uh, that's how you enter an appointment into a contacts record and uh, automate the process a bit.